I am here with Kate Ager. Today is October 1st, it's National Chalk the Police Day. 16 different cities are participating. All too often today, folks with badges who claim to protect us are the people who are actually violating our rights. You yourself may have experienced some of this harassment. That's why we're announcing and partaking in National Chalk the Police Day, October 1st. We are advocating for police accountability. Anybody who has a message that they would like to say to their local police department can feel free to write it on the ground in chalk. It's a peaceful way to communicate. It all links back to a June 4th incident at the Manchester Police Department. And then said I was being arrested and grabbed me by the arm and threw me to the ground. They just got in the line, came around the corner and walked north on the street. And all of a sudden, next thing I know, I'm getting arrested. Dude, Charlie next to me, he's getting arrested. Where eight individuals were arrested, many of them charged with graffiti or criminal mischief for riding with chalk on the sidewalk in the building of public property. So we're just out here riding with chalk on public property. It harms nobody. The lovely sidewalk chalk. You did it. I did. You did? Yeah. Do you have people who videotape it? What's that? Do you have people who videotape it? That's possible. I don't know. Are you camera? investigating me? Well, we could. We'll take the camera. You're going to steal cameras again? Yes. It's like your MO, isn't it? How's the turnout today? It's pretty good. There are quite a few people here. There are some people from the college. My name's Derek. I'm here with Free Cane TV. What's your names? I'm Molly. I'm Rebecca. And are you both Cane locals? Yes. Yes. Okay, and how did you hear about this event today? Actually, I did hear about it a little while ago. Yeah. It's through people that it existed. I'm in Students for Sensible Drug Policy and we talked about it, so. Now that you're here, what's your perception of the event? I think it's a good idea. What would you say to those who would call this vandalism? It washes away. It's only considered vandalism because of the message and people don't agree with it. Yeah. So. A lot of people have been writing messages. If you look around the common, it's covered in chalk. So is, there's a strong turnout for chalkers as well as media. Would, yes. Is that fair to say? Yes. So we're rolling up to Superior Court here. Is there a need for you guys to be out here? So, audio video recording. Can you give me your uh, your name, please, sir? Or can I? Do you have a name badge that I can uh, take video of? Thank you. And uh, what is your position with the uh, sheriff's department? All right. Let's just, I'm trying to be uh, polite by asking you questions. You are a public servant. What do you think about the assault being taking place today? Yeah? You know that though, right? You know that. I also have video of other Manchester police saying you were crazy for arresting us. That's good. Have they told you that themselves? Who? The other Manchester police you work with that say chalking isn't a crime. I don't know of anybody like that. No? I'll have to send you the video. Yeah. You know, it's not, not too late to apologize and just let it all go. You mean you're going to apologize to no, us? No, you are. Oh. Bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? What you going to do? You guys agree with that statement? Oh, good for you, man. You what? Some of your buddies, uh, like John Patty, arrested me and want to put me in jail for two years for that. Three years? Yeah, for violating my freedom of speech. You guys still not have that? Great, huh? Thanks. You don't think that there's a First Amendment right to freedom of speech? No? It's too bad. No corporate sponsor telling me what to do, asking me to tone it down during the interview. I think it's great. Give peace a chance. I love the place I live, but I hate the people in charge.